This is the Hamfest Clubs walk around. Hi, I'm Jim N4BFR from Ham Radio Prep. One of the things you get to do when you go to a ham fest is find out more about your local clubs. And we are blessed with a lot of different clubs who do a lot of different things here in Metro Atlanta. So I thought I'd talk to you a little bit about what some of the clubs do, and maybe that'll help you find the club in your area that'll get you going. So first one I'm gonna talk about here is uh, North Fulton Amateur Radio League. One of the biggest clubs, they're an award-winning club, and what they focus on is uh, in addition to just doing repeaters and, and having events, they focus on events that help kids. So they run an event every year called Ham Jam that spends a Saturday morning talking about all different aspects of ham radio. And the money they raise from that all goes to groups that focus on STEM education. So uh, a great way to support both your local club and STEM education by doing something like that. Another big local club is the Gwinnett Amateur Radio Society. They are really focused on ARIES and on emergency communications, and they are so good at training hams about a variety of different things. The nice part about a really big club is there's all kinds of different things you can do to get involved in the specialty area that you want to focus on. And again, Gwinnett, award-winning club. They've won the, the Hamvention uh, Club of the Year Award, and they always have popcorn at the Ham Fest. We love Gwinnett because they are the popcorn people. A different kind of club is Georgia Oxcom. This is one of the emergency communications group. These guys are really focused in working with the state organizations directly to make sure when things go out and communications help is needed, ham radio is there, and they're really good at integrating those things. Check out the gear. So Barrow County Amateur Radio Club is here. They're selling some estate stuff from older hams who have uh, become silent keys, and that's something you can find as well. Nice, good quality gear uh, sold through your local club that gives you the ability to uh, get going in different modes on, uh, on amateur radio. In addition, one of the things we're finding out about this weekend is advocacy. So there's groups in ham radio who are working to get amateur radio license plates free in Georgia. So they are uh, trying to get the ham community rallied to sign up and get these license plates going. So we'll see what happens with that, but something you can support when you support ham radio initiatives. So Frank's gonna tell us why we wanna be in Barrow County Club or any local club. One of the great things is we have a bunch of older gentlemen that have the ability to help us learn as we go through the different tests because there are the three different tests as it progresses up through plus all of the local club I don't have another there's one of my that was an Elmer to me Elmers are those gentlemen that help us and he actually forced me to get on the radio and put me there and coached me through while I was my first time keying up the radio and you get over that stage fright really well by having somebody there to help you yeah, I totally get that too. For instance, for me, uh, my first Elmer helped me out building antennas that I found through a radio club. So there's a lot of options out there and a lot of different Elmers who know a lot of different things. When you contact your local club, that's a way to find them, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. One of the other Elmer, I have two of them, believe it or else, but he did come over and help me do the SWR on my antennas because I tried building my own. And he came over, kind of told me what I really didn't understand because you'll find a lot of stuff out on the internet that doesn't apply to your situation, but actually when you get it into your home, somebody like that can help you through those troubleshooting that you wouldn't know otherwise. And even if you're new, you can still be an Elmer, right? Absolutely, there are things that, especially like the digital stuff, some of these gentlemen don't quite grasp the digital stuff, whereas some of the newer fellows coming along and the ladies, they are into that new digital stuff and they can actually help get some of the older folks back into that newer stuff. So joining a club is not just about getting help, it's about giving help too. Oh, that it's actually more beneficial when you give help because you're learning from their little ideas and what have you so that you can learn as well. But yeah, giving back, it's a great feeling. We have a website yeah. that Actually, we have where the QR code, if they can scan that, that'll take them right to our website. Thank you very much. Thank you, have a great afternoon. Have a great, have a great rest of your hand.
Yep. If you're into repeaters in Metro Atlanta, you may think about joining the Atlanta Radio Club. They've got eight different repeaters. FM, DMR, and D-Star are all represented by the repeaters they do. And I have to say, I, I got to brag on the Atlanta Radio Club as a past president. It's a great organization, and I really appreciated all the Elmering they did of me as I came up in ham radio, and now I get to pay it forward as well, so it's a lot of fun to be able to do both. A couple of past presidents here of the Atlanta Radio Club. John, what would you tell new hams who are thinking about joining a club? Join a club. It's a great place to uh, get uh, help, learning how to do things, and um, Elmer's are always a good uh, resource in a club. Our particular club has a mix of old and new, and even the old are still learning the hobby, so uh, definitely joining a club and joining the Atlanta Radio Club is a, a good way to, to, to get help uh, progressing in your hobby. Now, um, I know the Atlanta Radio Club and some other local clubs do this. For a new ham, it's free, right? Yes. Uh, if you're a new ham, newly licensed ham, like most clubs, which is a good resource, uh, you get a free, a free first year membership. So uh, no matter what part of the city you might be in, check around. If it's not the Atlanta Radio Club, one of the other clubs uh, probably has the same thing. But uh, it's definitely something we've been doing for a lot of years, and it's been successful getting new hams. Introduced to clubs. Just get on the air and uh, have fun. That's what it's all about. So finding your local club, maybe you can get in free for the first year and really explore and explore a couple of different clubs at the same time. There's other clubs that are specialty clubs as well that you should look around and think about if that's your area of interest. There's a Southeast DX club that's just about distance communications if that's what you're really into. If you're really into ham radio contesting, there's a Southeast contest club too. We've got all different kinds of clubs. Go find the one for the thing you like and go have some fun with it.